G'day everyone, Be Asian Dad here. I had one of my subscribers who actually requested to have a look inside of the Dell Latitude 5401. So I thought I might just take the back cover off and we'll have a show you what, what's actually inside it. But what I might do is just only do the very first layer of this. I won't actually take the keyboard cover off because once you take the keyboard cover, you really need to actually have a Dell Tech have a look at your computer. But just taking the back part over, you can actually do some self diagnostics and troubleshooting yourself, some basic ones. And also you can actually find some places where you can actually upgrade this computer as well. So let's get down to it. All you need to do is flip this computer around to this back here and then undo the eight screws. So they're all located here. And I've already pre-done them to speed up the video. So after that, this is the computer inside the air. As a straightaway, you can probably see the RAM trips. They're pretty easy. At the moment, I've got 16 gigs of RAM here, and pretty much you can just pop those two sides, and it pretty much flips up, and you can pretty much take that out. Now, put it back in, pretty much just give it a nice good angle, slide it in, and then press down softly on the sides. You're good there. So let's start on the bottom left-hand corner here. So right down here, we have the SSD hard drive. It's an M.2 format there, so it's matter held in by two screws. So we've got one screw here and one screw here. You can do that by the Phillips head. Undo that, it can pretty much easily eject that out. Right after that, on the left hand side here is a CMOS battery, and pretty much if you've got bias or timing issues, with the time, date time, it's easy to reset, and it's just a matter of taking this plug and plugging that with a screwdriver, nice little flick in that will take that out and plug it back in. That usually solves a lot of nice basic issues with the BIOS. And right down here, we've got the Wi Fi module, and it is held in by one screw, it's easy to undo. Right down up here, and right after that, is the WAN module, and this particular notebook is not configured with it so that's why you see it missing here. Right after that we've again here's a RAM slots and then we've got the heat sink running around here and then of course we've got the battery here. Now the battery here is held in by one screw so I'll just undo that and then you've pretty much sometimes you don't if you've got some battery issues or power issues you can just disconnect the battery without having to undo the screw but to undo the screw it's nice that they've actually included a nice little handle lever here so it's just made of pretty much just unplug it down there it's very easy to unplug and that disconnects the power from the so you can sometimes have so resolve some of the power issues with it and pretty much after that you can pretty much just pop this out and just pop that out very easily and then you can see underneath here. Now, I'm just only gonna go down to this section here, which is the, the slot here is the smart card reader. And you can, this one particular notebook doesn't have that include uh, opt-in for it. So it's just a blank holder there at the moment. And then if you need to, after that, you then start need to play around with the keyboard, take and remove the keyboard, which I won't do for this particular model. But if you need to do to change the display, the display cable is actually located on the back end, so you do need to remove the keyboard there. If you find this video informative or enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.